What's up? It's your boy Second Bond for Gear Space, and today we are looking at the Better Maker Stereo Passive Equalizer. You might ask yourself, why do I want a passive EQ? Simply put, a passive EQ gives you all of the tonal changes that you want without the coloration and potentially unwanted distortion. With the very simple design, and when done well, you get a nice precise and pristine result. Really great for low end, get a nice bump, get a nice little punch, and amazing top end shine and shimmer. Those are my favorite ways to use a passive EQ. Great for mixing, perfect for mastering applications. Today we're looking at the Better Maker Stereo Passive EQ. So let's unbox it and talk about it. This is the Better Maker SPE. The Stereo Passive Equalizer. It's a 100% analog audio signal path. With USB connection, you have access to a digital plug-in that also controls the hardware. You're getting the best of analog sound with the convenience of digital control. Every parameter is 100% controllable via the plug-in. It's automatable and recallable. With velocity control knobs, this is a two unit rack and you can pick one up new for $19.99 US. Here are some of the specs. Feel free to pause this video if you want to take a closer look. So let's take a look at the plug-in. It's a one-to-one -one copy directly of the actual hardware. The plugin adds additional features. There's a dedicated high-pass filter with the bypass, and there's a dedicated gain knob as far as the knobs go. They also added an additional feature for snapshots. Now, snapshots allows you to save settings, and it's very easy to do. You go ahead and you set your parameters, and when you navigate off, it's automatically saved. So for instance, if I wanted to go full blast on number two, let's go full blast on number two and go to number three and let's go midway. So as I'm making changes, the plugin is updating the snapshot and automatically saves. So when I navigate back to number two, full blast, all of my settings are set to full blast. Number three, everything's set to mid range. And number one is whatever I was fiddling with before I started. Up to 32 different sets of saved parameters. They also have a real-time analyzer. And that real-time analyzer is very sweet, comes in very handy. The GUI is resizable. And then you have your usual suspects on the knobs. So everything that the hardware has, low boost, low cut, high boost, high boost curve, high boost, high cut, gain, and you can cycle through your frequencies at the bottom using the buttons. On the left hand side, there's additional settings. You have your snapshot settings where you can determine what parameters are going to be saved within your snapshot. You have uh, some additional analyzer settings and you can keep this window open if you want, but you can toggle the analyzer on and off using the power switch. You can select its resolution and speed. You can adjust the slope of the analyzer and you can change the, the zoom in amount, which basically if you want to see a certain range of DB. The window is resizable. So depending, so depending on how much screen real estate you have, you can resize the window. The analyzer tells you what's happening to your signal pre and post processing. And then also the overall GUI is sizable via the menu or you can click and drag. And that's it for the GUI. Really simple, really user friendly. Just from a quick glance, you can see exactly what it is you're doing and what options you have for changes. Now here's a fun thing we can do. Let's take a look at what the hardware is actually doing. What I love about Bettermaker's SPE are the smooth curves and the, and the filters. It's very, very familiar sounding, very sweet sounding curves. Take a, just a brief look. If, if I increase the low boost, you can see I'm getting a nice curve all the way up to roughly 200 Hertz. And then I can cycle through that roll off starts to come down to about, you know, 350, 400. Starts to roll off to closer to 800, 900. Starts to roll back down to normal, closer to 1000. That's really great tuning for a low boost. And add a little bit of low cut. You can carve out a little more low mids if you have a little moneyness. You can use the low cut in tandem with the low boost to really tighten that low end processing. Really great on a kick drum so you get a little more punch without the muddiness. So you can see the hardware is doing this beautifully. And as I cycle through the Hertz, you can, you can carve it all the way up. Where if I just want a low boost around the 200, I would use those, I would use the low boost and the low cut in tandem. And there's a reset feature on the plugin, hardware resets. Very tight integration between the hardware and the plugin. So let's take a look at the high boost curve, a very narrow cue. 
and I'm at three kilohertz. And as I begin to widen that Q, this is about midway. This is full broad. That's where the sound begins to open up. It's my favorite way to use the SPE. Low end punch, top end shimmer. They're very gentle curves, but there's enough, there's enough that you can get surgical if you wanted to. Your high cut begins to drop off. I have it on five kilohertz, 10 kilohertz. Drops off at 10. And then of course, everything in between. Again, you have your dedicated gain knob, 2.5, 2.4. That's about 2.4, very precise. They've tuned this perfectly, excellent tuning, and that's exactly what you want from a piece of gear of this caliber. And then you have your digital high pass filter as represented by the line below. Very nice. Let's hear what it sounds like. All right, the fun part. So I have a kick drum going. All right, sounds really good. We're gonna cut that mud out. So using the low cut in tandem with the low boost. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You can hear, that's that's the sweetness that you'd get out of a pull tech. So it does the pull tech trick so well. Punch all the meat, all the low end boost without all the mud. I have a very nice setting for a kick drum that I can easily just store in my, in my snapshot. Let's hear it on a drum mix bus. Let's start dialing it up. All right, so that's my low end punch and boost. And now, if I just wanna give it a little top end shine and shimmer, increase the cue on my curve, and let's start boosting. A little bit of presence, three, four, five K, why not? Doesn't sound harsh. Smooth and musical, very smooth and musical curve. And then let's listen to how it changes as I cycle through the frequencies. Now I like the way 10K sounded. It really opens up the drum loop. See, I'm telling you, let's hear it on the instruments.
That sounds good. Actually, let's tell you what. Let's let's cut out a little bit of that 5, 6K tinginess that's happening. Yeah, if you need to do a little bit of corrective EQ, does that just as well. Let's say if your top end's a little too aggressive, it's a nice surgical cut, but it's also very gentle, very musical. And finally, let's hear it on the whole mix. So after you use it for a few hours, it's nice that you get that familiar sound so you know exactly what you're reaching for and you can get it and you can nail it every single time. So yeah, so you can, so you really, you could just crack your mix wide open. This is one bit of outboard gear. This is one piece of gear. The stereo passive EQ can do so much for your mix. It could do so much for your individual elements. And it's so easy to use. It's so sweet. It's so musical. And that's why I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, so boom. So that's the stereo passive EQ from Better Maker in a perfect world. Every piece of hardware will have this hybrid functionality. It's so convenient, it's so good. You're getting all the depth and the quality of outboard gear with the convenience, easy use of a plug-in. And the marriage between the two is, you, you just don't wanna use anything without that <laughs> if it doesn't have that functionality. Better Maker hits it out of the park. So let's thank Better Maker for integrating that functionality. That's just good thinking. Thank you, Better Maker. If you have a good balance going into your mix, this is a great strawberry on top. Puts it in a perfect wrapping. Happy birthday, you know? This is Second Born for Gearspace, and I wanna thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.